All right, today I'm going to talk about sawzall blades and sawzalls in relation to cutting out control arms and control arm bolts. This is something no one really wants to do. Sometimes you're doing something small on your suspension. You go to take out a control arm bolt and it's seized and this turns into a big nightmare job. So if you're going to tackle this at home, I'll talk a little bit about these blades and uh, the Sawzall and hopefully it saves you some money. I did look and there really wasn't, weren't any videos about this except one and uh, I thought I'd just add some more information. So let's talk about what kills these blades. All right. So here you have the clevis or the sheet metal on the car okay the control arm goes into the clevis or the sheet metal on the car the bolt goes across and that holds the control arm in place or the shock now you need to cut out that bolt to take out your control arm all right so the first issue is buying too long of a sawzall blade if you buy too long of a sawzall blade, you really have poor control over these things. And you're there, you're gonna start up the sawzall to cut through the bolt. And when it goes through its stroke, it bangs up against the sheet metal, ends up bending the blade, and you pull out your sawzall, your blade, and it's all twisted like a pretzel. All right, so you really have poor control over the longer sawzall blades in in those spaces. All right, you really want to use the shortest blade possible, and that will give you much better control to just cut through the bushing or the bolt without risking banging banging into the sheet metal, which you don't really want to do too often. Uh, because you'll end up damaging the blade, all right? Also, it can be way harder to control a long blade uh, with the stroke, trying to keep it off the edge from banging into the sheet metal. So buy just long enough that you need, okay? Not too long. The other thing is what kills these blades. It is heat, and people running their sawzall too fast so what happens is people take the blade put it in their sawzall and just put it on the bolt hammer the trigger go as fast as possible and the blade is cutting you're seeing nice powder come off the silver dust some chips come off from the bolt and all of a sudden it stops cutting what's happened is you've built up so much heat it softened the edge of the blade and you've lost your edge and you're basically just rubbing this soft edge on the bushing or the material and you've gone from seeing silver dust or metal fly off to seeing some smoke or maybe some flames or sparks coming off the blade then what happens you have to take the blade out put a new blade you run the sawzall real fast it cuts a little bit loses its edge you start to see smoke 
flames, sparks, and you've lost the blade again, all right? Then you go to the next blade. All of a sudden, you've gone through five blades, and you still haven't finished cutting out one bolt. So the key to using these blades is go as slow as you can, all right, with good pressure, and you want to keep the heat off this blade, all right? Keep it slow, good pressure, use WD to lubricate the sides front and stop it from getting jammed in between the material because, again, that causes friction and heat, and uh, you'll be able to cut through, like, multiple control arms with one blade uh, versus having to use five for one bolt or control arm, all right? The key there, keep the heat away from the blade. Now, the other thing that can cause heat besides uh, not going slow enough, right? Slow to medium speed is sometimes these sawzalls have poor control, especially the lower powered ones or the lower model ones like this thing is amazing i've used it so much i absolutely adore my rigid octane sawzall uh, i will admit though at lower speeds it just doesn't have that torque and control to control the blade and keep it at a low speed as soon as the blade starts to get jammed up a bit it will Put, this thing will speed up and try to push through and this is real common with these lower torque sawzalls this also happens with the corded sawzalls that are lower torque you sometimes don't have that low speed control and you end up kind of over speeding the blade and putting a lot of heat into the blades so that is an issue really about from the sawzall itself, not so much from you trying to control it, but what can you do, right? Like this thing is probably one of the best priced uh, sawzalls, I think, on the market. And uh, I don't even know if they make this octane version anymore, but it, it was an amazing deal. So uh, definitely if you're looking for a sawzall check out these rigid ones um yeah so here's some video of me cutting out one of these bolts with one blade and it's not really a big deal you just take some take your time you're gonna say well i don't have time to go slow with the sawzall blade right and yeah but they have time to go through five sawzall blades they don't even know that they're taking as much time uh, when their blade loses the edge and they're there for five minutes cutting away and nothing's happening. Uh, that takes time, right? So go slow, keep good pressure, good feed, and uh, it will cut faster than going full max out on the sawzall, ruining the edge, and then having to go through five blades.
either side because it's not all bolts it's 